Today, we are going to make mashed collie tatoes. Say what? I don't know about you, but mashed potatoes don't sound really appealing for breakfast. But that's when I can get my grain. So, I've got collie tatoes for you today. Cauliflower like mashed potatoes. It's really good. Your kids will probably even eat it. The first thing with cauliflower potatoes is you need to use fresh cauliflower. Sorry, you can't cut corners with this one with using frozen or riced. It's just gonna have too much water content for what we want to get that nice creamier mashed potato-like feel. We're gonna chop up our cauliflower kind of small and fine, not as fine as rice, but in little chunks. You want to remove the stems as close to the florets as possible because the stems are actually gonna make your cali tatoes a little funky. Now we need to just get them smaller for quick steaming. We're gonna put our cauliflower in our pot and stick it on the stove for about 10 minutes. When it's pierced with a fork, the fork will go through it. You don't want it to get um, really mushy. We're trying to avoid extra water content. You want to steam it. You can't really cut corners in that way with this recipe or it just gets too much moisture in it. So now it's hot and we're ready to put it in our, in our blender. You could try this in a um, food processor if you don't have a blender and let me know down in the comment section how, uh, how that worked out for you. We're gonna add some garlic powder, just a little sprinkling. At least that's what I like to add because I like a little garlic flavor. But if you don't, then salt, pepper is fine. You can also add um, herbs of your choice. Ooh, look at that nice steam rising. I think it might need just a smidgen more. Polytatoes on top are gonna look a little bit more uh, granular and drier than the ones down below. You don't want to mix this until it all looks super mashed because it's gonna end up again too watery. But when you get it out and you mix it together, it's the, the top pieces are going to get mixed in with those bottom and become really nice all together. Now you can see we actually have a, have a nice potato consistency. So this counts as your vegetable. You measure out how much you want and then you can choose if you want to add your fat to your collie potatoes or if you're gonna eat them somewhere else in your meal. You could add butter to this. You could put some cream cheese in there if you wanted to, or some sour cream. You could put cheese on top. You can put meat that has some kind of a fat-based sort of sauciness to it on top. For reference, you saw that I had a, I had a rather small um, cauliflower head, and this weighs out to 12 ounces of mashed cauliflower. Our collie tatoes are done, and we are ready to eat them with our dinner. This is half of the head that I made, six ounces. So I'm ready to add my protein and my salad and have a delicious dinner. If you like this staple replacement for mashed potatoes, mashed collie tatoes, give me a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more recipes like this for Bright Line Eating Compliant, recipes, hit that subscribe and that notification bell so you get notified when I release them. 
This recipe is on our website at forkishhabits.com. <laughs> Thanks for coming to my kitchen and visiting. We'll see you next time.